How to Spray Peach Trees Peach trees can be difficult to keep free of pests and diseases. Complicating the matter is the fact that different areas of the country pose far different risks for peach growers. In the relatively dry west, for example, peaches are susceptible to far fewer diseases and insect pests than they are in the more humid east. As much as possible, all unsprayed wild peach and plum trees should be removed for at least one quarter mile around any peach orchard. Weeds must be mowed within the orchard, and piles of leaves and brush must be cleared away at all times. Also, it is impossible to completely separate pruning and spraying. Trees must be properly pruned for maximum spraying results. Things you will need Superior oil Liquid lime sulfur Sprayer Eye protection Breathing mask Pruning shears Saw Prune all dead and diseased branches in late winter or early spring, before the tree begins to bud with green leaves. Thin branches in the canopy of the tree to encourage plenty of air circulation and sun penetration. Mow weeds under the trees and remove all dead branches and old fruit. Spray tree with superior oil spray before green leaves begin to bud. Spray on a windless day with an air temperature above freezing. Cover nearby plants that are already showing leaves. Spray the tree with liquid lime sulfur before green buds appear. Spray on a windless day when the temperature is above freezing. Protect nearby plants that are already showing green leaves. Perform additional spraying that may be required, depending on local conditions. Growers on the east coast will have to spray more frequently and vigorously than growers on the west coast. For many west coast growers, the two sprays already mentioned may be all that is required. See resources for specific information on peach tree spraying for your particular geographic location. Tips Warnings Always wear eye protection and a breathing mask when spraying. Also wear clothing that covers as much skin as possible. Always cover nearby plants that may be harmed by excess spray carried on the wind. Never spray when children or animals are present, 